The 90s was a golden age for fashion. The dress code was simple, casual, with a hint of grunge thrown into the mix. It was a time where double denim reigned supreme and scrunchies were a must-have. Although the 90s is held up as inspirational to the way that we dress today, at the time it was actually known as a period of fashion repentance, a return to normality after the overindulgence of the previous decade. The 80s were loud and the shoulder pads were even louder. It was an era of glamour and flamboyance that saw the rise of the new romantics and quite a lot of neon lycra. So by the time the 90s rolled around, people really thought, yeah, we need a break and opted for pretentious simplicity. And today it's that same simplicity that makes 90s style seem more desirable than dated. What the hell is that? A dress. Says who? Calvin Klein. Take Jen Aniston, for example. It's a love affair that never ends. Whether we're pining after her style as Rachel Green or as Jen herself, her fashion catalogue is a classic. She's the queen of laid back chic style with just a hint of preppiness. She perfectly mastered the art of off duty in the form of tank tops, mom jeans and sandals, whilst also oozing elegance in an array of minimal slip dresses. Of course, we can't forget about Lisa Bonet's quite unique style. She was never a follower of trends, which is probably why she's remained a capsule style icon all these years later. Lisa Bonet put the Coachella-esque spin on grunge with her layered floaty ensembles. She fully embraced the decade of laid back style mixed with an electric bohemian influence. So we've covered preppiness and boho chic, but what would an ode to the 90s it girls be without a special mention to Winona Ryder and her homage to soft grunge? Winona was often pictured either in baggy denim and trainers or in head to toe black, featuring vampy accessories paired with leather jackets and slinky dresses, looking effortlessly chic and edgy. A look that really wouldn't look out of place today. Today's fashion owes a lot to the 90s, and perhaps coming out of a global pandemic means that we now favour comfort over glamour. But there are a few other 90s trends that have been making an appearance over the past few years. And when we look at the eight girls of the 90s, it's easy to spot the ones that we might wear today. The 90s was a real cultural cleanse. The fashion was minimal with a touch of personal style as well. The clothes that were worn back then have gone on to become real capsule pieces in our own wardrobes. Things like minimal tailoring, leather jackets, denim, little slip dresses, they're all understated pieces, which is why they never really go out of style. And of course, there's more of a link here than just the casual, minimal fashion of the 90s. Some trends have really stuck around and it feels like a true calling card to the times. Undeniably, there's something about our love of the era that goes way beyond just the outfits. There's a romantic nostalgia to the 90s that spans across so much of the popular culture of the time. And it's natural for those who grew up in the 90s to reminisce on childhood memories of the fashion, music and TV shows. But so many of the people that indulge in this nostalgic trend were barely in nappies at the time. So what makes it so special? The decade is known for its influential pop culture. It saw the rise of the independent film scene, it was a time where Nirvana topped the charts, and it saw the start of some of the most successful sitcoms in history. And these important moments have shaped us today. With the power of the internet, it also means that we've had access to these cultural relics. Although we're no longer in the 90s, these fandoms and subcultures for certain films, music and TV shows can still actively exist and people can express their identities through their interests and subsequently in the way that they dress. When Netflix brought Friends and other much-loved 90s sitcoms to our screens, millennials were able to reminisce about the shows that we watched as kids, and Gen Zs who were watching it for the first time became encapsulated in the easy narratives, comforting worlds, and of course, Rachel Green's timeless style. This also sparked a revival of some of our favourite shows, the Friends reunion captured the hearts of nostalgic fans all over the world this year. And in 2018, Sabrina made a return to our screens. As the 90s influence appears to be as present as ever, how much do we really owe to the decade for the way that we dress today? Does nostalgia fuel our style or does the minimal dress sense of the 90s make it timeless? I'm going to ask the people of Leeds and find out. So what kind of fashion inspires you when you get dressed? Um, I kind of like the casual, relaxed kind of look. Yeah. With the, like the baggy jeans kind of thing. 
And then there are some times where I like having tight clothing on just to show off my body a bit more. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. Do you like the kind of 90s style? Because I think what both of you are wearing is very 90s influenced. Yes, I actually do. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool, nice clothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what kind of um, clothes do you like about the 90s? Is there anyone that actually influences the way that you dress or any sort of like TV shows, music, that kind of thing? Um, more of like R&B, like, like 90s R&B kind of inspiration and this celebrity called Tiana Taylor as well. Yeah. So she likes having that vintage but modern kind of look as well. So she's kind of the one main inspiration for me, yeah. We were practically only really 60s, 70s, 80s. Why were you yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a, a grungy sort of look that you've got going on as well. Are you influenced by sort of like grungy culture, whether that's like music, TV, any of that kind of yeah. stuff? It's gorgeous colour, it's, it's very sort of like oh, yeah. sort of rough, a bit like yeah. vintage isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. So tell me a little bit about what you're wearing today. Um, I'm wearing a, a denim jacket, um, just a plain white shirt, a um, pair of oversized denim pants and uh, white trainers. Yeah. Is that what you go for usually? I do. Um, I mean, nowadays everyone's like wearing oversized stuff um, and I feel like the 90s are, are making a comeback, so, so why not? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any particular like style inspirations, any people, anything for like popular culture, that sort of thing? Um, from people, not so much, but I guess um, s s skating clothes, um, the oversized fit, the, the I don't care look, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, it's, quite relaxed. Yeah. yeah. The resurgence of the decade's popular culture has certainly created a sense of nostalgia that enables us to revisit and embody the 90s in not only the way that we dress, but the music we listen to and the TV shows and movies that we watch. But it's also clear that the easy, laid-back trend of the era has proved to be timeless and often inspires the way that we dress today. Perhaps it's a sign of the times that we gravitate towards more comfortable fashion and style that will stand the test of time. Either way, it seems that our love affair with the 90s has no signs of stopping.